Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, the, the leader and Jim are exactly right. This has always been about politics, uh, and the, today's actions of the speaker just confirm that. But frankly, uh, and I've said this before, what else are they going to talk about? I mean, they've been they're so focused on the January 6th committee. What else are they going to Are they going to talk about crime? The fact that crime is up in every major urban area in this country? They're going to they're talk about the border crisis? I mean, think about this. March was the highest month on record for illegal crossings until April. April was the highest month on record until May. May was the highest month on record until June. Can't talk about that. They're going to talk about inflation. They're going to talk about the fact that the price of eggs is up, the price of milk is up, the price of bread is up, the price of gas is up, the price of an airline ticket is up, the price of a use, the price of everything is up. They can't talk about that. So they're going to be partisan, and they're going to focus on this. But as the leader said, and as Mr. Banks said, I don't think they're going to address the fundamental question. The fundamental question of why wasn't there a proper, uh, proper security presence at the Capitol that day? They're not going to address that. And only one person can answer that question. Only one. Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. My hunch is, my hunch is, the reason I don't want to address that question, my hunch is, is because what happened all last year? The Democrats normalized anarchy. They normalized rioting and looting. And when rioters and looters attacked our law enforcement personnel, when rioters and looters destroyed small businesses, what did Democrats do? They went out and raised money to bail them out of jail, and they continued to talk about defunding the police, and in fact did that in all these major urban areas, which is why crime is up. So they don't want to talk about that stuff. They just want to be partisan. They just want to continue to attack the former president. They want to play their political game. So I applaud Leader McCarthy for saying, we're going to do our job. We're going to continue to work and get to the bottom and answer the questions that the leader raised, the questions that, frankly, the American people want answers to.